Have you taken an interest in baking? If so, this is the perfect video for you. Macarons are more of the challenging treats to bake, but if you follow directions, you can come out with a masterpiece. Stay tuned for tips and learn how to make gudetama. Let's go ahead and start prepping. Put the powdered sugar, almond flour, and only half a teaspoon of salt. Process until fine. You can do this as many times as needed. Once you're finished, put a sifter above the bowl and dump the contents out. Sifting the dry ingredients will ensure that there won't be any lumps in the batter. Any leftovers in the sifter can be thrown out. Set your dry ingredients aside and get a large bowl. In this bowl, we'll add three egg whites, and half a teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and start mixing your egg whites until it starts to froth. Now that your egg whites have reached reach stiff peaks, go ahead and add your vanilla extract. After you added your vanilla, add in your food coloring. Now it's time for the most crucial step, mixing the wet and dry ingredients. Pour a little bit of your dry ingredients into your egg white mixture while folding gently. You don't want to be a victim of an overmixed batter. Once you can make an eight, you can you should stop mixing. Now we're going to transfer the batter to a piping bag. The easiest way to do it is by having it in a cup. Use a hair tie to secure the bag. Pipe four dots to each corner of the pan. This will help the parchment paper stick to the pan.
You could also choose to add um, some type of oil, like butter, if you like. Squeeze out small circles and try to make them as even as possible. Go ahead and tap the pan at least five times. Tapping the pan will help get rid of air bubbles. Let the meringue set for 30 minutes to an hour. While it's drying, I'll tell you troubles you might come across and what causes them. One of the problems you might come across is a hollow shell. The causes are not whipping the egg whites enough, over whipping, or under baking. A common occurrence is a cracked top. This happens when you don't tap the pan before letting it dry. If your macaron sticks to the pan, it most likely means that they're underbaked. Try to raise the temperature or leave them in the oven longer. I think the meringue is ready for baking. The macaron is smooth and dry on the top, meaning that it's ready to bake. Make sure your oven is preheated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. bake for 17 minutes until they don't stick to the parchment paper and feet have developed. To make the buttercream frosting, beat some butter until it's fluffy. If you don't have a stand mixer, get ready for a workout. Start to sift in powdered sugar and continue beating. Add the vanilla and cream. Only add one tablespoon of cream at a time. Put the frosting in the piping bag, just like last time. So I've taken the macarons out of the oven and let them cool. Only then did I take them out of the baking pan. Put a tablespoon's worth of frosting onto one cookie. and then put another cookie on to seal the deal. 
Continue doing this with the rest of the macarons. You're gonna enjoy your delicious treat, or you can decorate like I am. Since my macarons are yellow, I'm making gudetama. I'm just using pre-made icing for mine.